All right, y'all, I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a hot minute. Let's go inside and see what they got. So Brandon told me to go ahead and run a Dollar Tree to get some snacks for the weekend. And I wanted to see what kind of Halloween decorations they have put out. And y'all, my Dollar Tree was looking really scarce. We're now in uh, October, first day of October. And I will tell you, at my specific Dollar Tree, we do have resellers that come by. I found that out like five years ago. And so a lot of times when I come to this <laughs> Dollar Tree, a lot of like the seasonal decor is really scarce and empty. Um, they are going to be restocking this next week. I spoke to one of the employees there and she told me to come back. So maybe I'll come back and see what else they have. They were loaded up with candy and I definitely got some candy. I'll show y'all at the end of my video what I purchased for the fight this weekend. That's what I was really here for is just to grab some candy. Y'all let me know what is your favorite Halloween candy? And uh, yeah, I was pretty surprised they were already putting out Christmas stuff. Actually, the Christmas like decor aisle was almost as large as the Halloween decor aisle. I don't know. I just found that kind of weird. They had a lot of like DIY Christmas stuff, which definitely <laughs> isn't my jam. I don't know about y'all. I'm definitely not a DIY girl, but my Dollar Tree has a lot of that stuff. And I'll even show you uh, the arts and crafts style in a second. They do have a few more fall things over here. Not really Halloween, but more like fall decor here. Uh, but yeah, looking a little scarce. I've seen some of y'all Dollar Tree shop with me videos and y'all have a lot more. So this is honestly my favorite part of Dollar Tree and it is the frozen food section. I do grab quite a bit here and I want to ask y'all, have y'all seen the like Dollar Tree what I eat in a week videos. I think they're titled something like that. It's where people will buy a week's worth of food from Dollar Tree and eat that only for the week. I mean, honestly, if you needed to, it can be done. There's a lot of options here. And I even spotted something I've never seen before. I love um, the spicy Jamaican patties. And I saw they had the jerk chicken flavor. So I went ahead and grabbed one because I wanted to try it. And then I also grabbed one of the original like mild spicy patties. Those things are really good. They also had a lot of pizzas there. I was pretty surprised. Um, I was also making fried rice. And so I needed some peas and carrots. And so I grabbed some of those. But let me tell y'all, even though this stuff is just a dollar, doesn't mean it's the best deal. Like I'm about to grab the peas and carrots. I paid a dollar for them. And technically that's a bad deal because I only pay about 88 cents at my Walmart for them. So I don't know, some things at Dollar Tree are a really good deal and some things I would say not so much. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite section. I do like to come here and kind of like the beauty section because they have this brand here. It's Bolero and they sell this brand at Target. It's a decent brand and I do like to pick this stuff up for like a cheap little spa day night or even for gifts. I like to throw those in little gift bags for people. So I like to just run by here and see what they got. I also like to go to the hair accessories section. They have a lot of scrunchies at my Dollar Tree location. And I found this fuzzy one and I was instantly drawn to it. I do put it back, but don't worry. I do go back for it because it is too cute. I'm actually wearing it right now while I'm doing this voiceover. I really, really enjoyed it. I also like to buy my brushes at Dollar Tree. Um, I find they're pretty good quality and they hold up. Up for at least a couple years my Dollar Tree was stocked with socks and they had some fun ones like these right here those are pretty fuzzy so if you need some socks Dollar Tree is definitely a great place to go my Dollar Tree is also fully stocked with body wash and they even have like Arm & Hammer which is a pretty good name brand I thought these little soap dispensers were cute I like that mustard color I always like to go down the dog treat aisle just to see what they have to offer. Y'all know I have six dogs, right? So my dogs are actually really picky. So, you know, I've tried a lot of this stuff and my dogs are like, eh, you know, they have their bark boxes that we like to give them. Oh, this was new. I hadn't seen this, the ball launcher. I just throw the ball. So I really didn't need this, but I thought that was kind of a cool little invention right there for just a buck. They also had more dog toys and they also had a cat section too, which isn't as large as the dog section. 
I wanted to show y'all this. Um, if you are looking for like some of my tried and true Dollar Tree favorites, it's definitely these. These screen guards, let me tell you, if you need a screen protector, do not buy one for $15, $20. Buy a few of these. I have purchased some from Dollar Tree and they've lasted me literally years. I always like to go down the office section, but I don't find it's a good deal. Like, those bubble mailers, that bubble wrap, I can get that so much cheaper somewhere else. But, you know, if you just need something really quick, they do have that for you. So it's always helpful to have something close by whenever you're in a pinch. They have a lot more uh, office supplies as well. Here's our arts and crafts aisle. I feel like we have a really large aisle. Um, I'm not really into it, but if you are, my Dollar Tree would be the place for you. They have a lot to offer at this place. So here is a section I would highly recommend if maybe you are just moving into your first apartment. When Brandon and I got our first place, gosh, maybe a decade ago, um, a, you know, we were young and broke, y'all. Uh, we purchased a lot of our cooking utensils and cooking, you know, just items like, uh, for example, these towels right here, these dish towels. We, we got a lot of this stuff from Dollar Tree. The towels are not my favorite. I think they're really cheap, but I do like the oven mitts, and I also do like the pot holders. Those are pretty good quality, but it's just those dish towels. They seem just, I don't know, they don't really soak up anything really well. We have a lot of plastic bags, a, a big selection of those at my Dollar Tree. Here's another one of my favorite sections. This is the cleaning section, and I buy a lot of stuff here. Um, I also, whenever I was filming, I realized I needed some gloves. This is my favorite place to buy gloves. I pay about $2.50 for gloves at Walmart. And here I just pay a dollar. But they never have size small gloves. I don't know what's up with that. My Dollar Tree just never has it. Uh, they also have some things to help you out with cleaning. This is what I specifically like to clean my shower tile with. You just put soap in that and you can just go at it on the tile. I find it really, really helpful. They also have brooms and other little sponges you can use to clean. I also pick up some cleaner here. Um, I picked up this awesome floor cleaner. Again, we have six dogs. I'm always cleaning, y'all. And I'm not spending an arm and leg in, on cleaner, you know. So I like to buy my stuff at Dollar Tree. I will tell you. Oh, there's my dogs. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so the cleaning aisle is definitely an aisle I would recommend. Fabuloso, that's what we used to always use at the antique store. And we would clean with it all the time. And the customers would always ask us, like, what is that amazing smell? And we would be like, y'all, it's just fabuloso. <laughs> so, yeah, don't skimp on the Dollar Tree cleaning section because they do have a lot of good stuff to offer. If you run out of seasonings, they have a pretty good selection, at least at my Dollar Tree for seasonings. Again, I have seen some of those YouTube videos where people can eat like a week's worth of food from Dollar Tree, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's definitely possible. They have a lot of stuff for pasta, for tacos. Also, something I didn't realize they offered here, which I just noticed while I was filming this video, they have a lot of olives, and I'm about to even show you pickled asparagus. I may get that next time. These granola bars, highly, highly recommend. They are low in calories, and they're really, really sweet. My favorite is the chewy rainbow chip. Um, they didn't have that flavor today, or else I would have purchased it. Uh, here's those pickled asparagus spears. I have never seen those. And I think next time I go, maybe I'll go here in the next week. Y'all let me know in the comments if you want to see another Dollar Tree shop with me in haul. I'm going to show the haul at the end of this video. I thought these were cute for like little appetizers, little plastic forks. Okay, I'm about to show you all my haul. And I just wanted to show you, uh, there was actually only one employee here today. She was stocking and she was the cashier. So she was running back and forth. But she did tell me to come back in about a week because she's trying to put out more fall items. So here's a quick haul. I got the gloves. I got the awesome floor cleaner. I did get some plastic forks and spoons because I think you get 50 or what, 48 for a dollar. That's a pretty good deal. That's not bad. Peas and carrots. I got the Jamaican patties. I did pick up a vegetable egg roll. Haven't tried that yet. I'll let y'all know if it's good or not. Um, if I try it, I may or may not pick that up again. And some candy. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all soon for another one. Bye, y'all.